Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review for Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 9. It's called Trigger Finger. Um, and it was pretty much a tale of two episodes, or a tale of two half hours. Uh, hour 1 was really action-packed. Um, and not even just action-packed, it was able to resolve some, you know, certain set pieces that they set up last week, resolved them rather quickly, which is something that the show hasn't been doing much of this season. Um, it was suspenseful, it was just well shot, well done, it was tense, um, and it was pretty much what I think the audience has been looking for out of this show. Um, the second half hour uh, was a much slower pace, um, and it basically displayed all the problems that anyone that's having with this show, as far as the season, second season goes, it, it pretty much had all their problems. So, there was the potential to get better for the first half, and then just back to the same old nonsense for the second half. Um, I, you know, <clears throat> I wasn't happy about the first half, because that there were zombies in it. That's not what made it go. What made it good is because it was well done. Um, it was it was like it was beautifully filmed. It was um, they uh, they were able to actually use Laurie's storyline. That kind of got resolved quickly. I thought that was going to turn into a whole long thing. Thank God it didn't. Um, they were able to take that and use that to fuel the whole you know thing with Shane by the end of the episode. So it was actually well done. Also, while you know showing that Laurie can actually shoot these things on her own uh, without problems. So well done. You know that that was really good. Everything at the bar again was excellent. Um, the um, Herschel shooting the guy and the guy's getting his face eaten off. Um, the possible surgery that the one guy was going to have. Uh, it was just really suspenseful, really well done. It was stuff that, if you were watching the show, you know, from the first season, and you saw the first half of this episode, um, you would say, hey, you know, they haven't lost a beat, or they've gotten even better, or whatever. But, um, yeah, really well done. And everything, even at the farm in the first half, it was just, um, you know, some character building stuff, but it was mostly everyone was doing something. They were trying to figure out what they were going to do about Lori and how they were going to go get her and everything like that. So that was good, too. Um, and we ended the first half hour on the guy getting his leg pulled out of the, the gate. And uh, I noticed on the clock that, you know, when they came back from commercial, it was like 9.31 or whatever. And I was like, all right, well, we got one half hour down. Let's, you know, let's see. And it was just like an... Uh, not quite a nosedive. Well, yeah, it was a nosedive. Um, and I don't mind if we're going to go from more action to more dialogue-heavy stuff, but the dialogue-heavy stuff has to be compelling, not the same, you know, nonsense over... I don't need another scene of someone looking at someone that's in a coma or something talking about some story, like with Maggie and her sister. Like, oh, yeah, I remember that stuff from season one. Uh, and it was okay in season one. It's, you know, I've seen this before. And by the way, what the hell is wrong with this girl? Is she going to turn into a zombie, or is she just going to be in a coma, or, you know, what's the point? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, the, the thing with Maggie and, uh, and Glenn, you know, Glenn comes back and, you know, I, I can't be with you because, you know, I, I didn't do, I didn't shoot anybody today because I dove, because it was, it was so stupid. So stupid. Um... As far as that storyline goes, it's like, either they're going to kill one of them off, which is going to annoy me, um, or they're just going to break up and stay broken up, which would be pointless, so I don't think that's going to happen, or they're just going to get back together by some point in the next couple of episodes, which just means they're just using this as like a, a break, um, you know, I don't care about that stuff. Um, actually, it would be nice if they were happy, if there was some, you know, light. Uh, it's an airplane flying over my house, if you can hear that, I don't know. But, um, there's some light, some levity, I mean, Christ, in this, like, show. It would be nice. But, uh, instead, they're gonna be miserable, too. So, great. Um, I hate Dale. Every time I see him, I'm like, ugh, you, you know, why, why can't you, you know, get killed off? It's, it's terrible. Um... 
Officially, T Dog will do nothing this year. Uh, without a doubt, nothing. Um, I still don't even know the background characters. Uh, what else? Um, let me see, what else? Before I get to the end with. Uh... Well, alright, I still. Shane is, is a jerk, um, but he's fun. Him becoming a little even more, you know, at least they're going with that. That he's making the right, he's, it was brought to his attention that he's making the right choices, but he's going about it the wrong way. So, okay, so they, they understand that that's the character's problem. That's fine. Which is why I think we can forgive it for when he does stupid things or acts the way he does, because the show knows he's acting that way. Um, but... Um, and it was nice that his thing with, like, Laurie has escalated uh, to the point where he got to the end of the episode. Uh, oh, before that, let me just mention Daryl again. Daryl, way to go, show. Two episodes in, he's done pretty much nothing. Probably the MVP of the first half of the season. Uh, so far, hasn't used him. So, well, they might use him in the next couple of weeks a little more, a little better. Um, but way to go on that one. Um... It's almost like the show really needs to just focus on one character in an episode. Almost like Lost used to, just to... Maybe that's what it needs to do. I don't know. Uh, anyway, anyway, I'm, I'm getting off track. The end of the episode, um... Lori is kind of pushing Rick. Either she is intentionally pushing him to go after Shane or not, or she's really, like, frightened of him. Either way, it's a nice dynamic. It's a nice, you know, plot advance. It's a nice... Like, uh, you know, making things a little edgier as we get toward the season finale. Um, it's the right thing to do. Um, it's even not a bad thing to end an episode on. A bad scene to end an episode on. But it's a bad scene to end the episode on this late in the year. By this point in the season, we should be ending the episode on some pretty major things. And we didn't. You know, it was just... I don't know. Uh, I guess I like that they kept the baby thing while it was really subdued in the first half when she told him about the baby now that's come back around so you know there is at least um, some continuation from the first season on every from of everything um, yeah but uh, like I said I heard some people today oh this is you know a return to form it's, uh, it was on its way where the first half of the episode, I was like, you know what, this is good stuff. Like, all right, here we go. And then, here we don't go. Uh, it's, it's just the classic thing. You cannot have... I mean, the first half hour of your episode cannot be better than the second. That's the wrong direction. You know, act one can never be better than act two. Otherwise, what do you got? You got a good act one. It's just, um, yeah, I don't know. That, that that was the problem with the episode. Um, good first half, you know, mediocre second half. Some storylines I like. Um, like those guys in the pickup trucks, the guy they brought back, I guess it's going to lead to something. Um, but I'm not particularly excited about where everything's going to be going. Because I can't see where it's going. And I, um, I don't mean that in the good way, where I'm like, oh, I'm on, you know, my heels here. I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen. But it, it's just like sputtering for me right now. Um, and they could recover in the next four and really go out with a bang, which I hope they at least go out with a couple of episode, you know, craziness instead of because um, I want to get on here and I want to talk about the show and you know, be thrilled about it. Um, instead, I'm watching it, I'm like, you know, well, yeah, I'll watch this tonight, because it's on. Um, it's kind of what I was doing with Dexter at the end last year. I don't want that, so... Whatever. Uh, let me know what you thought. Let me know if I missed something. Um, yeah, so... Uh, I will see you guys next week. And... Uh, Adiós.